Oh, hey, what's up, JD Aliens? Man, I was just looking over some of these specs. I wanted to show y'all this new projector I got. It's from iCotus. It is the T400. This is like a mini portable, I don't want to call it a portable projector, but the fact that it's so small and quick to hook up, you can just portable this thing anywhere you want to go. Let's do it. All right, let me share some of these specs with you guys. So we got 3,800 lumens here, 3,000 to one contrast ratio. Uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, native 720p, that's uh, that's important. Plenty of ports and it can go between a 35 and a 150 inch screen. So yeah, that's about it. What we really wanna know is, how good does it look? So when I take a look at a projector, one of my main things is, yeah, it's, it does need to look good for real, like, cause it's a projector. But the next thing on my list is like, how loud is it? Because I don't want this projector sitting over my head and it's like super loud and I gotta turn the volume up and it's just an unpleasant experience. So we're gonna test all of that out here, but let's get into the box. Nothing fancy about the box, man. You ain't even got nothing on the box. It's just a black box with a picture of the Icodis. Is it Icodis? I think it's Icodis. I have such a hard time pronouncing the names, man. Anyways, we're gonna call it the T400 from now on. Let's get into this thing, man. No need for Mr. Meat to show his face today because this box didn't have any tape on it or a wrap. Mm, but we do have a bit of a new stuff smell. It's got that electronic smell to it. You know, like new stuff has different levels of smell and this is definitely that uh, electronic smell. You know, when you can smell the capacitors and stuff. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I just got a sensitive nose for new stuff. All right, we got our power plug here, which looks pretty standard. Then we have a supply HDMI cable. Looks like it's about, I don't know, maybe about three feet. We'll see. And then we have a splitter. Man, yes, got to have these bad boys because not everybody's up to speed on the hookups these days. You got your video and you got your audio left and right. Straight up into a 3.5 millimeter jack. And then we have, last but not least, a remote control. I'm gonna, what is all this mess? Okay, I don't know what that is. I'm, <laughs> it's like some string or something. All right, so let's get into this. All right, pretty standard remote ultralight. Okay. All right, looks like a menu here, a source button, a directional pad with OK in the middle, volume up and down, mute, play and pause, reverse or uh, back, and a home button. And you are going to need some AAA batteries. So let's put that off to the side and let's get to the start of the show. Let's get in here. Come on, Mr. T400. Oh, wait, I got some instructions. Maybe we'll take those out because I don't know, I might need them. Every once in a while, product tends to troll me and I have to turn the camera off and go to the instructions. This thing is small. Golly, it is small. Wow. And it's nicely built. The construction is nice. The fit and finish is nice. It does not look cheap. Doesn't feel cheap. I'm digging it so far. So far, Icotus? Yeah, Icotus. So far, they got five stars for me, man. But let's take a look around this thing. Let's take a little field trip around this projector. We have that D-pad right there with the OK button in the middle. Got the power button, uh, reverse, and we got the menu, and maybe that source. I, I think that's probably the source right there. Then we got our focus ring and keystone ring. It is not electronic. Now this is a little different on the direct back, like straight up in the back of this thing, we have the VGA right there. And then on the left side of it is where all the other stuff is. So we got a USB there. We got a headphone jack for listening. Then we got your AV. That way you can use your splitter that I just showed you. Two HDMI ports and a second USB. I like the fact that they put them so far apart because sometimes you have these flash drives that are kind of thick and uh, you don't want to button against each other if you got two of them plugged in at the same time. Good look. All right, let's go to the front. This uh, looks like an IR blaster, a little company branding right there. You don't get a lens cap, is there? Nope, you don't get a lens cap. Uh, let me see how this thing... All right, yeah, you got your folks right there. So the, you see the lens going in and out. That is an LED lamp in there, by the way. Then on the uh, right side of the projector, I can see a port here where the fan probably pushes out that hot air. And then you got your power input there. On the bottom, what we got on the bottom? Got some little rubber feet and this little thing right here to kind of tilt it. So you just screw that out. And it's a quarter inch, it looks like. So maybe you could put this bad boy. This thing is really long. It's just coming and coming. And coming. <laughs> Anyways, let me see. Does it come all the way out? This thing will, wow, this is a lot. Okay, I went to, okay. 
Yeah, it looks like a quarter 20, so you probably put this on a tripod if it'll hold up right there. Uh, too bad it's not in the middle. But let me go ahead and put this back in there because I'm probably not gonna need it. As far as mounting this thing on the ceiling or anything like that, um, I'm not sure, I don't see. Can these come off? No, these don't come off. So as far as mounting it, it's so small, it's just made for portable use. So you might be able to mount it on a tabletop or some type of platformed uh, tripod like I usually use when I do my videos like this. But uh, as far as seeing what's on the exterior, oh, there's a speaker right there. And that looks like a radiator. Yeah, that's probably another uh, radiator right there. Uh, but yeah, we got a speaker right there. Do we have another one? Okay, so we got one speaker. But now that we've taken our field trip around this thing, let me get it hooked up in the media room and we'll see how it looks on the big screen. Okay, before we continue with the rest of this video, I do have a few things to say about this thing uh, that I found out during setup. First of all, the fan is really not that loud. I'm actually sitting, and the mic is here with me. I'm actually sitting, I don't know, three feet away from the projector. And it, yeah, I can hear the fan, but it's not annoyingly loud. Also, as far as the speaker, there is one speaker and it's not like true stereo sound, but the speaker sounds really good. It gets loud enough so you can hear it in a room. And as far as the bass, treble, and mid-range mix, it's really nicely done, although you can EQ it in the settings. So since we're talking about settings, let's go ahead and go into that menu real quick. Uh, that's another thing. I'm sitting behind the actual projector and I'm able to use the remote even though that, uh, that IR sensor is in the front of the projector. So I got this thing lined up fairly well. I didn't take too much time with it, but I did an okay job. But remember, you can adjust the keystone on here, so don't worry about getting it lined up too perfectly, but you do want to have a solid baseline. So get it lined up as good as you can, and then you can use that keystone. Because typically with budget style projectors, if you don't get them lined up like square and then adjust the keystone like slightly, you will get a skewed image around some of the corners and borders of the picture frame. Once again, this is a 120 inch screen and the projector is sitting roughly 11 or 12 feet away from the screen casting at 120 inches. But let's get into this sound profile. So you can go into standard, let me hit the uh, button right there. So you can go into standard and then you have the uh, sound of music, then you can adjust it to movie and sports and things like that. And you can also have a user setting as well where you can adjust the treble and the bass. Ah, oh, there's no mid range there. Uh, no big deal. Let's go to standard because it actually sounded really good there. Uh, and then you can adjust the balance and then you got the surround sound setting. So right now it's off because I don't have surround sound set up, but I'm assuming, and I have not tested this, but I am assuming that if you plug this into a stereo system using that 3.5 millimeter jack and the, uh, the, the splitter that it comes with, you'll be able to get some pretty good surround sound out of here. Now, let me go back. So you hit the menu button to go back. Now, before we go into picture, we'll go into time. You got a sleep timer on here. You got auto sleep. And then you got some options right here and then you got the about oh okay i see so it'll let you change your uh your english to spanish or whatever you want but it also lets you flip it so if you're gonna flip yep so you can do upside down sideways uh <laughs> yeah cool wait a minute is this ah uh -huh, we have a digital focus wait a minute now okay the image is actually getting smaller as i focus in but that's pretty cool that it has that. Let me click back out. Bear with me here. I've, I don't think I've ever played around with this kind of feature before. You can't go anything less than zero, but you can focus in. Now that was a frozen frame, so the focus wasn't gonna work well on that anyways because it was blurry. But let's go up in the picture and we can see the different picture modes. We have user, we have uh, vivid, we have standard and soft and a user mode. I did say that. But you know what, let's go into the standard because that's what it came with and I liked it. So right out of the box, this thing comes with a good sound profile and a good picture profile. You can also adjust the color temperature, aspect ratio, and you can reduce the noise and stuff like that. But I'm serious, like I have no problem with the projectors. This is like, I'm impressed so far. So let me, let me just turn on this video that way y'all can hear the speaker through the mic. I'm gonna stand, I am roughly two feet away from the projector itself. So I'll play this video for a few seconds and let you hear how loud these speakers are. Hey, JD Aliens, what's up? Man, I'm super excited about this. Now I know a lot of y'all like to watch my audio channel where I do Bluetooth speakers and uh, headphones and stuff because I get real hyped up when I get some good quality earbuds and headphones and speakers in. But if you don't know about that channel, make sure you click in the description box. That way you can subscribe to that one too. But I get super duper pumped up when I get stuff in the house like this. Man, this is a gimbal. Gimbal, I'm, I'm like, I'm a camera gear freak. Like, 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and mute it for the time being. So when I started the video, the speakers were at about 59%. I took it all the way up to about 70 and they sounded great. I didn't have any complaints about it. You definitely have to manage your expectations with a budget style projector and something this small, but for what you're getting here for the price, man, I cannot complain about that. Now let's talk about this picture quality. Look at that handsome fellow right there. He's so smooth and chocolatey and that beard is to die for. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, the image quality on this thing is fantastic. So when they say uh, native 720, I'm not gonna dispute it, man, because the picture quality on this bad boy is really nice. Everything is nice and clean and clear. You don't see any graininess. And I'm looking around the corners. If you look at the, uh, the corners of the, of the picture, you don't see blurry spots and that's uh, that's two parts one it's a good projector that's how you know you got a good projector with a decent lens on it but also you have to line this thing up first like you have to line it up really good and then you can start adjusting the keystone if you don't do that you're going to have some skewed edges but right now we got it lined up good and we got a decent lens in here and it's nice and bright now you do have to dim the room quite a bit this is not this room is not pitch black i do have some light casting in here so like some ambient light but as far as the brightness of the projector you're getting a great deal here because the room is not completely dark and i'm getting a great very 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 watchable image this is good and for the price i am not going to complain at all this is a great projector i'm actually really impressed now let's check out some colors let me take it to another youtube video so we can check out how it reproduces colors and stuff like that because I know you're sick of looking at my face. So this is an HDR video I found on YouTube and wow, <laughs> it's looking really good, man. This picture is crisp. I am really impressed with this projector. I was not expecting it to be this good. The image right here is bright enough to watch when you got the room nice and dim and the color reproduction is good. I'm not gonna lie, man. This is probably some of the best money you can spend on a projector like this as far as like in the budget range. Wow. Uh, Okay, I, I really don't like snakes at all. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me stop this. I, I can't stand snakes. Let's get out of here, man. Let's go back into JDL headquarters. <clears throat> oh, man. Those snakes. Dude, I cannot stand snakes. They give me the heebie-jeebies. Anyways, the picture was good, man. Did you see that? Okay, now, I was really taken by surprise because I reviewed a lot of projectors, and they all pretty, I mean, they all pretty much look good, but this one, this one was exceptional, especially for them to be boasting 720p native. Uh, it really looked like it. It was a nice, crisp, clean image. The fan wasn't loud. The speaker was good. Color reproduction was good. And yeah, it's also pretty portable. Hey, I ain't trying to tell you how to run your life, but if you're looking for a budget projector, this one might be it. Like, I don't have it with me. It's still out there in the media room. But yeah, that one might be it. But enough about that awesome projector. Look. Let's talk about my social media. You seem like a pretty cool person and I think I'd like to hang out with you after this video. So go ahead and click on those links down there, particularly the Instagram one. Follow me on Instagram so we can hang out once this video goes off. And if you've had a good time so far, throw those emoji hands up in the comments section and I'll see y'all at the next one. Hey, where you going? No, 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 sit back down. We gotta talk about this. You didn't have a good time? All right then, hit the subscribe button. There you go, reach down there, there you go. And then hit the bell because you need to know when I'm opening up more new stuff. You gotta come right back here and check this stuff out. Now, don't you feel like a better human being? All right, I knew you would. All right, man, I'll see you soon. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?